Amendment number one, authored by the Senator from 39th, is recognized to speak to his amendment. Don't worry, I'm not going to read it all. <laughs> Mr. President, members of the Senate, I rise in opposition to House Bill 87 and in support of my amendment, amendment number one. Um, in this debate over these last several months, well, really more than several months, because this was a campaign issue that some people uh, talked about long and hard in uh, the recent election. And uh, people wanted to out Arizona, out, uh, out Arizona, Arizona. And I, I love Arizona. My mother is from Phoenix. Uh, but this is one time I don't want to be compared to Arizona. And it's unfortunate we're in the posture that we are in we are, when we are compared to that state for what it has done. In this debate, there has been emphasis in private conversations and in public conversations that this will do economic, irreparable economic harm to our state. And that's important because economic development results in jobs, jobs for Georgians. And that's very important. But I would like to emphasize another element, Section 5, that the senator from the 5th um, began to talk about, and that is the racial profiling section of this bill. You know, serving in the legislature is sometimes like being a teacher. What you learn when you are teaching young people is that you learn from them as much as you, they learn from you. And to the extent that we have constituents, we listen to constituents and we listen to the public, that's a good thing because we learn from the people that we serve. And over the last two or three months, Senator from the 5th has chaired a set of hearings that have gone from Atlanta to Warner Robins to Savannah to Gainesville and finally just the week before last to Gwinnett County. And in those hearings we heard a great deal about the economic impact. I'm not going to go into that but we heard from people who had farms, Senator from the 11th, and we heard from people who had chicken plants. But we heard something very dramatic in those hearings. We heard from people who had experienced what we call racial profiling. And the thing about this is we didn't solicit. We didn't say, come and tell us about racial profiling. We didn't say, come all you, you can come. And we want to hear about you being stopped on the highways and byways of Georgia. People came and volunteered that information. They came to us and said, this is what is happening to us. American citizens who happen to be of Latino derivation. American citizens who are honest and hardworking, but whose skin happens to be brown. American citizens who love this country more than you can imagine. They were either born here or they came here and became naturalized. And there's something about immigrants who become citizens. They love this country probably more than the natural born because they know how wonderful this country is. They know how glorious this republic is because they have something to compare it to. They know that what we have here is special. We know, they know that the United States is the greatest country in the world and they appreciate that. But these same, these very same citizens of Georgia under the United States are stopped. They're stopped because they look different. They are stopped because of what they look like. 
These people who love this country are probably more offended than anybody when they get stopped. I got racial profile once, and the officer told me, he said, he told another officer, he said, it's that kind, the ones that got a little bit of education, they're the ones that resent being stopped more than anything else. That's what one officer told another officer about me. You know something? I did resent it. I was mad because I wasn't hurting nobody. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't acting out. But I got stopped because I was a black man in the wrong place at the wrong time. And so you can understand, my colleagues, that when a Latino who's a citizen of this country get stopped, they resent it deeply. It's un-American. It's un-American to its core to do this to our fellow citizens. So that's what we heard in those hearings. And we were deeply affected. And so when the senator from the 30th, with all due respect, when he comes to this well and says he done cleaned this thing up and made it better, made it palatable, made it become in accord with what the court wants, I must respectfully say I disagree. It is that pig in a tutu, as the senator from the 5th said. You can't clean it up. You got to do away with it altogether. 